Hi, so this is Laura, and we're talking about what it means to live life in a fishbowl where you're vulnerable and your mistakes are pretty evident for other people to see, but that even though that's humbling, there's a goodness in that too. And so I wanted to share just a funny story of my life in a fishbowl from this past week. I drove for the first time by myself with the kids from Chiang Rai to Chiang Mai, which is like two hours sort of in the middle of nowhere. And, um, and I pulled in to get gas because I was terrified that I would like, you know, run out of gas in the middle of nowhere in a foreign country and with the three kids by myself. So, so I pulled into this gas station and they have attendants at gas stations in Thailand and there are usually like three or four or five people that are just waiting around for the car to pull up. So of course I'm in like this sort of rural area and there's absolutely no white people at all and here I am as a lady by herself in this sort of hoopty red car and, um, and I've got the three blonde kids in the back and I pull up into the gas station and there are like five attendants there that are just all sitting and talking and so they immediately like you know are totally like openly staring at us so I try to play it cool and I have my um, little car as an example so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here so so I pull into the gas station right and the you know the all the attendants are over on this side and you know I'm right here in the car and the gas cap thingy is on the other side of the car so I don't realize this because I'm a doofus a lot of times. So I talk to the guy and I'm like, um, you know, I, I have my little Thai words, you know, fill it up and what kind of gas I want. And so I tell that to him and I smile, ha ha ha. And he smiles at me, ha ha ha. And I give him a thumbs up sign like, ha, okay, go ahead and start. And then he points to the car and then I realize, oh, you know, I'm a doofus. So, um, so I say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And so, um, so they're all, you know, five just still like staring at me and, you know, so I feel like I have an audience, but I, I keep it cool, and I'm like, okay, I just need to go around to the other side so they can, you know, fill in the gas. So I take the car, and I go around. I don't know if you can see this, but I go around. I pull around, and I just stop right here. So now here is the little attendant guy and the gas station, or the gas, you know, pump, and the, um, the little gas cap for my car, gas tank, is still on the opposing side. But I do not realize this. And so um, the guy sort of looks at me, actually all five of them sort of look at me still and they don't move. And so I roll down the window and I like give them the cheesy thumbs up and okay, you know, like come on, fill the tank up. And we sort of stare awkwardly at each other and I do not get like why they're not filling up the tank, but they're trying to like be kind and not totally humiliate me that I essentially didn't do anything well. So, um, so anyway, so eventually the guy tries to make me feel better, I guess, and because he doesn't want to embarrass me. So he gets out the gas nozzle and he starts to like pull it over, like across the back of the car to somehow try to see if the thing will reach to the opposite side. And then I realize, of course, that what I have done. And so I ha 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 smile and wave some more and do a couple okays. And, um, then you know, I have to take like a 15,000 point road turn, you know, to eventually get it to where I'm facing the right way. So still staring, still staring. Um, I try to like keep my cool. I pay the money. And when I go to leave, I totally like stall out because it's a stick shift and I'm a crappy stick shift driver. So I totally stall out and endure more embarrassment and more smiles and laughs. So Anyway, it just sort of reiterated that to me as I was thinking about that this week. Just that story, just like, oh, it's so hard to mess up when you have an audience. It's so much easier. If there would have been nobody at the gas station and I would have just done it myself, it would have been so much easier and so much less humiliating than having this audience of five people staring at me and essentially laughing at me, I'm sure, when I drove off, you know, crazy white woman. And so, but I just think of that quote by Andrew Murray that says, um, embrace every opportunity to humble yourself or to be humbled. And, you know, that's a stupid, funny story. But I think it's really true if we can just laugh at ourselves and if we can embrace every opportunity to humble ourselves or to be humbled, then that's sort of fishbowl living mentality. That's sort of the life, life of being vulnerable and open and honest and authentic. And there's a goodness in that, even if it is totally humiliating and you feel like a big dork a lot of the times because your mistakes are on display. There's a goodness in being honest. So anyway, those, that's my sort of funny um, 
mess up story from the week. Hope y'all are having a great weekend and we'll talk to you later. Bye.